everyone. You've probably all stood on one foot before, but have you ever stood on zero feet? Sapphire is going to show us how. Whoa, zero feet. How did she do that? Well, if we bring the camera around, we can see that she's really standing on one foot that's hiding inside the closet. But in the mirror, when she lifts up one foot, it looks like she's lifting up both feet. This trick works because of something called symmetry. When an object has symmetry, it's the same on both sides. Our bodies are almost exactly the same on the right and on the left. So if I hold the mirror up here to one side, it looks like it's showing the other side, when really it's just showing a copy of this side. Let's dig a little deeper into what symmetry is. You're going to need your STEM packet today, so pause the video and go get that. Got it? Good. Now we can draw a line of symmetry on objects so that they're the same on both sides. This only works with objects that are symmetrical. But what about on this tree? So hold up your stem packet and use it like a cover. I want you to cover up half the tree so that the part you covered up is the same as the part that's not covered up. Okay? And the place where you put your stem packet is the line of symmetry. See? Okay, what about this butterfly? Hmm, we can't just put it up and down or left and right. Sometimes the line of symmetry needs to be diagonal. Now here we have a star. Can you cover it up so it's the same on both sides? Oh, look, there's actually a couple different ways we could draw a line of symmetry for this star. This brings us to another type of symmetry called radial symmetry. Radial is related to the words radius and radiate which both have to do with circles. A circle has radial symmetry because you can rotate it and it stays the same. It also has regular symmetry because we can divide it in half and it's the same on both sides. This star has regular symmetry, we can divide it in half, and also has radial symmetry because we can turn it and then it's the same again. Lots of things in nature have radial symmetry, especially things that start small and grow outwards, like a flower or a starfish or this tomato. I cut it in half so we could see the inside, and the inside has radial symmetry. Let's also cut this apple in half and look at the inside. Oh, you can see it has radial symmetry too. We can rotate it and it stays the same. Now here is a shape that I drew that does not have regular symmetry. We can't draw a line down it anywhere. It does have radial symmetry. If we rotate it the right amount, it's still the same shape. Now take your stem packet and turn to page three. It should look like this. In this box, I want you to draw something from around your house or in nature that has symmetry. And in order to make sure we're drawing it the same on both sides, First, I want you to draw the line of symmetry, whether it's up and down or diagonal or left to right. Probably up and down is the easiest. That's what I'm going to do because I'm going to draw my pet parakeet's head. And we'll see if we can make that symmetrical. So I'm going to draw my line of symmetry and then I'm going to draw the right hand side, kind of a shape like this, and then I'll make the shape on the left hand side match. Then I'll add in the eyes and add in a little beak and maybe some feathers, but I'm going to make it the same on both sides. If you have time after that, there's a fun online drawing tool that I want to show you. If you go to mandalagaba.com and draw your own symmetric alien flower or creature or something. I love this tool because we can customize it in so many ways. We can change the number of lines of symmetry. If we use one line of symmetry, we'll have two parts exactly the same, but we could also do five or 10 or 30, and it will copy what we draw that many times. You decide how many lines of symmetry your creation will have. These buttons here change whether it has radial symmetry or not. There's a fill button in addition to the regular pencil button. We can change the background color and the thickness of the pen. Oh, and this is my favorite button. I use it all the time, the undo button. Now the circle and the slider here change the color. The circle part selects the hue 
and the slider selects light or dark. I bet you can make a really interesting creature uh, drawing with this tool. When you're done, use the Save and Share button. It'll turn your drawing into an image, and then you can click on the link to save it to your Chromebook. Then on Google Classroom, you can add a file, go to Upload, and then Recent Files. That's how you'll upload your alien flower or creature to share with your class. Stay safe, have fun, and keep making things.